In this video, we're going to be creating a parting surface. To begin, select parting surfaces from your Mold Tools toolbar. At this point, SolidWorks goes around and actually selects the parting line that we've created and starts to extend surfaces out from that. You'll notice that you have mold parameters. You can do tangent to surface, normal to surface, or perpendicular to pull. And since we're pulling in it from the top plane, I'm going to select perpendicular to pull. You'll notice that parting line is selected as the origin for the surface. I'm going to increase this to two inches. And the reason I'm doing that is because once we create a tooling split, we're going to have to create a sketch that signifies the outside shape of the mold. I always like to make sure that my parting surface can extend out that far without any issues, so I know that I'm not going to have any issues when I create my tooling split. Now you'll notice that there are several options, knit surfaces, which I always like to do, show preview, which is a good idea to have on the screen, and then there's a manual mode option. When manual mode is selected, you have these purple vertices at the extension of each surface. Now these purple vertices can be dragged in several directions to modify the shape of your surface. In a case like this, it's not going to give us any benefit to modify these, but there are several cases where you have complex outer geometry that might be in three dimensions where you need to drag these vertices to make sure that you have an adequate parting surface. Once we OK that, a new surface is created. 